From our nation's capital to a village in Dane County, communities are using National Day of Action to teach a message of acceptance. Our Keely Arthur shows us the support they're showing transgender children. I'm in Mount Horb where a mom has made it her mission to fight for transgender equality and she's doing it tonight with some help from a children's book. For as long as I can remember, my favorite color has been pink. With each page turn of I Am Jazz, a story of a little boy who identifies as a girl. Dancing, singing, backflips. Sarah hopes she can turn the questions surrounding transgender kids into understanding. One day I would be a beautiful lady. The mom of two who doesn't want to air her last name to protect her children went through her own period of learning. He was always drawn to typical girl things, girl TV shows, which we thought was a phase. But it wasn't. After a visit with the Mount Horb School District psychologist, they determined her child was transgender. We had to make the decision, you know, are we okay with, you know, going through this transition in this process, you know, to make our child happy. They were okay, and with the transition came a transformation of her daughter's well-being. She was, you know, a very shy, withdrawn, very quiet, um, timid little boy, and now we had this, you know, happy, sassy, you know, just so happy. She was, she's so happy now, and, um, you know, that, that all started happening within a week of this, so we, we know we made the right choice. Sarah is now taking that message of positivity to the public. My daughter is meant to be on this earth to help um, everyone understand, um, to help other people who are in the same situation um, know that they're not alone. Believing that education. Sometimes my parents let me wear my sister's dresses around the house. Will make the next chapter for transgender kids like her daughter a little easier. Be who you are. We love you no matter what. And it wasn't just Mount Horeb. Hundreds of other communities came together to read I Am Jazz and stand up for transgender rights. In Mount Horeb, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3. Now, last year we reported that a conservative group had threatened to sue the Mount Horeb School District after educators tried reading the book. The lawsuit never happened, and the district is planning on reading the book in certain groups next year.